Blessed day to all our virtual audience. I am Leila M. Fernandez, Education Program Supervisor for Science and a member of the Division Selection Committee for Senior High School. We are still on the different evaluation criteria. The fourth evaluation criterion is interview. Interview is 15 points for applicants of all tracks. The committee shall interview applicants and ensure that all have equal opportunities to be assessed. Applicants shall be interviewed on topics such as K-12 program, professional experience, instructional skills, technology and computer skills, classroom discipline, classroom management, knowledge of content, planning skills, relationships with administration, staff, parents and students, and personal qualities. The interview shall center on the three competencies. The first competency is teaching ability. Applicant has to demonstrate appropriate knowledge of content and pedagogy. The second is classroom management. Applicant has to demonstrate ability to encourage positive student behavior and to deal effectively with negative student behavior. The third is school fit. Demonstrate skills and needs for development that can be a good fit with the school. A scoring guide or rubric shall be used to rate the responses of the applicants. The committee shall rate applicants from satisfactory, very satisfactory, to outstanding, using standards and equivalent points of 1, 3, and 5 respectively. The next evaluation criterion is English communication skills. This criterion is given 10 points for applicants of the academic track and core subjects and 5 points for the TVL, Arts and Design, and Sports Track subjects. English communication skills will be measured through the English Proficiency Test, which will be administered to applicants by the Bureau of Education Assessment. The total percentage score obtained by an applicant shall be multiplied by the weight points. To illustrate, if applicant Y for academic track obtained a percentage score of 82 or 0 .82, his rating shall be multiplied by 10. So the rating of that applicant for EPT is 8.2. For applicants in the TVL and sports track, the weighted points is 5. Using the same computation, his rating for EPT would be 4.1. You might ask, until when will the EPT result or score be valid? Well, the score shall be valid for two years. This means that the EPT 2019 can be used by the applicant and shall be valid until 2021 application. However, in the event that the applicant decides to take another EPT for the next application, the latest EPT shall be honored or counted regardless of whether it is the lower or the higher score. The sixth criterion is portfolio or outstanding accomplishments. This criterion is given 10 points for core subjects, academic and TVL track subjects, and 15 points for arts and design and sports track subjects. Submission of portfolio or outstanding accomplishments is encouraged. These may include but are not limited to the following. What documents may be considered to be outstanding accomplishments? For published work, for example, if you are the author of a book or educational article, 
like classroom-related articles that talk about classroom management, pedagogy, or ICT integrated instruction, among others. For recognized innovation and research, documents like products, process, concepts, or combination where the new idea has been translated into practical use. Awards, recognition, commendation. Documents like thesis, academic papers can be counted if the paper has been presented to an academic, business, or industrial body and was given a commendation. However, those theses submitted as part of academic requirement shall not be counted. For exemplary performance, recognition that was received after undergraduate education or a recognition received in the performance of one's job, among others. As a final reminder, all those documents mentioned must be relevant to the specialization or position being applied for to be able to earn points. The last criterion is demonstration teaching. 20 points for academic and core subjects and 15 points for TVL, arts and design, sports track subjects. The applicant's teaching ability shall be measured using the six domains such as Lesson Planning and Preparation, which is subtasked into three components. Classroom Management, subtasked into two components. Teaching Learning Process, subtasked into five components. Language Proficiency, subtasked into two components. Assessment of Learning Outcomes and Reinforcement of Learning, subtasked into two components. The highest score for each component is 4. The number of points attained for each of the 15 components listed shall be added and then divided by 60. The quotient shall be multiplied by 0.20 or 20% for academic track and core subject applicants or 0.15 or 15% for TVL, arts and design, and sports track applicants. The product shall then be multiplied by 100. To illustrate an example, sum of points attained for the 15 components by sports applicant is 45. Following the computation, 45 divided by 60 times 0.15 times 100 equals to 11.25. So the score for demonstration teaching is 11.25 out of 15. That would be all. Stay safe and positive. Once again, I am Leila M. Fernandez, Education Program Supervisor for Science, inspiring you with our service slogan. No hay cosa imposible. Cree, junto, junto, puede.